we found this uh, samurai wasp in the field in 2016. So our goal is to be able to take the wasp, bring it into the laboratory, and then have the wasp lay eggs in the colony of our brown marmorated stink bug eggs. And in so doing, we can then take those eggs back out into the field and release the wasps in places, both in urban and agricultural settings, where it's been a real problem, where the populations have built up to explosive levels. To envision the wasp, it's only the size of a pinhead, so you can't even see it. Now, the only thing it stings is the eggs of stink bugs. So what it does when it stings is it actually deposits its egg inside the egg of brown marmorated stink bug, and then the larva develop and it emerges as an adult. So these things don't sting people. People don't even know that they're there. And what we're trying to do is create an ecological balance with the introduction of this wasp because we, we have the introduction of this invasive stink bug that's, that has no constraints to speak of. And now by moving the wasp that's presently here into locations where stink bugs are, then uh, we can just bring that into balance. With this wasp, the, the downside could be that it might lay its eggs in the eggs of beneficial stink bugs. So there are stink bugs that feed on plants, stink bugs that feed on other insects, and if it begins to uh, lay its eggs on, on the eggs of predatory stink bugs, then that could be a problem. However, the USDA, the USDA has had this insect in quarantine for the last five or six years, and it's run studies on this and it really prefers brown marmorated stink bug eggs over any other kind of stink bug, uh, the native stink bugs that we have here in the U.S. We're starting at this spring. The wasp we found at uh, Hepworth Farm uh, over in Milton, the Marlboro area. So we see this as, as simply moving the wasp that's already here into locations where there are real problems with brown marmorated stink bug eggs.